Hi, I'm Angela from Dance with Angela. And today we're looking at moving love through movement through the body. So I've got two throughs here. So there's a through way in this highway of love or speedway of love. I'm thinking Aretha now. And one thing I discovered through movement was that some of the full body movements allowed me to feel my body through the movement itself. In one of the previous videos, I looked at how dance allows you to change your perception of yourself because you're no longer that body. You're actually a shape. You're actually an expression. You're communicating something and it's not about you. It's about what you're communicating or you're allowing the music to come in to give you an experience and potentially transform you and create this experience if you're performing for others or, or if you want to share that experience and how it's moving through your body with someone, you can allow that to move through you. So one of the joys of dance is that because you are doing movements that are not about our ordinary everyday life we're on, devices or cooking or cleaning and just getting things done we can take on forms that allow us to have other senses of ourselves and other feelings of ourselves so the movement that for me when I was doing dance that was perhaps the most liberating I'm going to pick a few to just show you how they're similar um, I think when I was growing up there were some movements that surprised me because I wasn't a very uh, small child. I was a little fatty. And some of the movements that I did were able to make my body move fast in a way that I couldn't do. So, for example, if I was doing a full body movement where I had to feel a movement go from the full reach of my body and down to the feet, I was able to feel a suppleness in the body that allowed a different feeling of my whole body and it gave me a different perception of myself. And so much later on, I'm thinking about Michael Jackson here. That was what I was dancing to when I was young. But later on when I was older, I went into Middle Eastern belly dance and one of the big undulation movements that they have Typically, when you see an adulation, people are focusing on the belly, but the movement actually comes from a whole body movement that starts from your head or above your head, actually, or into the stars, if you want to be serious now, from the heavens all the way down the body into your belly button and then relaxing your belly and then letting it move down into the earth. So those full body movements where the movement came from outside of you, down the body and down into the earth, really gave me this sense of empowerment, which for me is a form of discovering self-love because it takes you from looking at yourself as if you're just who you, whoever you are, which isn't that great, to looking at yourself as something that can communicate or transmit something that's quite enormous or something that's quite beautiful and something that's quite enlivening and that's something that's exciting to experience. So movement through the body is one way that a lot of the dance forms have used that to do healing, to enliven people, to bring up the spirits of a community, to dance away to bad things in the community and to also give thanks for life. A lot of Mideastern dance, they say, is about a birthing ritual, but it's much more than that. It's actually a celebration of the life force itself, of the kundalini energy, of the bringing in of life into the body from the head and down to the earth, and also um, to celebrate that opportunity to express ourselves in this plane as well. So if you want to try a movement exercise now, I'm not going to ask you to move your whole body if you don't feel in the mood to. But one thing I would just um, offer for you is something that I use. It's called the uh, fountain. 
and it's a, a sense of feeling a lift from uh, it can be your seat where you're sitting and, and your belly and we're going to just try a sense of feeling a movement coming up from your seat where you're sitting and moving it all the way up the center of your body and out and around your body so I call it the fountain because it's a bit like a fountain. It's just showering out uh, from your center, from your hips. Some people can take it also from the feet if you want. But if you're sitting, you can just do it from wherever you're sitting. You can just relax your palms on your lap. And then if you have your eyes open, you can keep them open. And just gently just feel like you're lifting that life force energy up and around. You can use the breath as well and then showering out like a fountain. So you're lifting the energy up through the centre, out and around. And you can try it with your breath, lifting it up, out, and around and when we do it slowly you can include your breath I've, I've got the eyes closed just to bring my feeling internally more so you can just start to sense that lift of your whole energy and how it can move through the body and gently in your own time, just relaxing your hands. If your eyes are closed, you can keep them closed or gently open them. And movement throughout the entire body is what a lot of our dance forms from all ancient cultures were celebrating. But they also used it for healing to enable us to connect to our life force which is energetically anchored on earth through the gravity field to the centre of the earth and to our sun, which is the centre of our solar system. So Qigong and all of those forms really is an honouring system of that gift of movement and left life and breath we have throughout the whole body. And this is a form of love for me, how we can love the fact that our bodies are a sacred vessel for the breath of life and for the movement that we have when we feel that energy that we have moving throughout our bodies. So that's a little bit on uh, the teaching I have, love is a process, and I have more about that in some of the other videos. That's just one thing about moving love through the body. We're going to look at some of the um, other movements that are whole body movements in some of the other teachings uh, that I'll share. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below and I'll put a link for the playlist that has more teachings around uh, love is a process, which comes from my book, The Body of Love. Thanks so much for watching.